Hello, welcome to ICTTrends.com and Suresh Khanal. In this video series, we are solving different questions from sample set of computer operator practical examination. And in my last video, I've already solved the question number A, the question from MS Word. And today in this video, I will be solving the question from Excel. This question number B and the Excel tasks contains two different questions. The first one creating a bar chart with the given data and the second one calculating commission for given uh, conditions and criteria. Let me solve the first question and this question I'm solving in Excel 2003. The question asks to enter the given data, the table in your Excel sheet and and create a bar chart with given chart title, x-axis and y-axis. For that, in MS Excel, I've already typed the data so as to make it quicker for you to demonstrate. Okay, after you enter the given data in your sheet, uh, you will start creating chart. And to create a chart, you can click on the insert but menu and then on the chart menu. Or alternately, you have got the chart wizard button on the standard toolbar so click on the button or on the menu sequence whatever is suitable for you the chart wizard begins it has four steps and we are on the first step out of those four steps on the first step we will choose the chart type whether from standard type or from custom type because our question asks us to create a bar chart the bar chart we can find on the standard type on the chart type choose bar and on the chart subtype choose a type of bar that is suitable for you in my case this clustered bar is quite sufficient click this button and hold to see the sample whether it will be displaying correctly after you have done this click on next to go to the second step out of those four steps on this second step we can check whether the selection made by Excel automatically is correct for our purpose. In this case, uh, Excel has selected the data area very correctly. This is what I need to do it. Excel is very smart for this one. And another, what we can specify is series. Data range and series. These two things uh, that you can specify on this second step. Uh, in case of bar chart, what confuses most of the uh, candidates is the placement of x-axis and y-axis. Most of us are in the concept that the horizontal axis is x-axis and the vertical axis is the y-axis. But if you have chosen the bar chart type, the vertical axis becomes x-axis and the horizontal axis becomes y-axis. This confuses most candidates and they waste a lot of time trying to fix the x-axis and y-axis. It's very uh, time consuming uh, for nothing. Please remember and be clear that the uh, in case of bar chart, the vertical axis is x-axis. Uh, you can see it here on this series uh, tab of the second step, category x-axis label. What the Excel has selected for, for the x-axis is from the B1 to G1. Click inside this box to see which labels are used for x-axis. Uh, Excel has selected this uh, from B1 to G1 correctly for the x-axis and this is what we need. But if you look at the chart you will see 2005, 6, 7, 8 written vertically on this vertical axis that appears to be y-axis, isn't it? But don't be confused, that is the x-axis for our bar, bar chart. On this second stage, we don't need to do anything. We just have to make sure that uh, Excel has made selection correctly. Another thing uh, here we can change is uh, whether the series are in rows or columns. If you choose a rows, then you can see the ears. Uh, displayed here on the x-axis and the quantities the production is displayed here on the y-axis and your uh, index contains the barley, maize, wheat, rice the index is containing that means there are, there are the bars for barley these bars and there are the bars for this maize these yellow bars and there are the bars for wheat and rice if you choose it uh, column wise then the, there will be the blocks for the barley, maize, wheat and rice 
and individual bars will be made for the years 2005 to 2010 so you decide which type of bar you need and select accordingly in my case rose is quite okay so click next this is the third step out of fourth on the chart options and this is where our question focuses more we are asked to enter the chart title as crop production on 2005 2010 and we are asked to uh, type the year for the x-axis title and production for the y-axis title so click inside this chart title box and write here crop production on 2005 to 2010 click inside the category x-axis box and type here year and click here on the y-axis and type here production look on the sample the year came for this vertical axis which is x-axis for our case for this bar chart uh, bar type of chart and production came here on the horizontal axis which is the y-axis for our case here after you have done this, this third step allows you to select many other options also like you want to decide whether you want to display the category x-axis or not or the values on y-axis or not. If you turn it off, the values will be removed from the y-axis. If you turn it on, the values will be displayed there. Uh, similarly, on the x-axis, whether you want to display the category as automatic or you want to display the category or you want to display the time scale. Similarly, you can decide whether you want to turn on, whether you want to disable, whether you want to enable the grid lines on the chart or a plain background is enough for you. Similarly, you can choose the legends, whether you want to display this, le this legend box we often call it index box also whether you want to display this lesson box or not and if you want to display this lesson box where you want it to be uh, displayed whether on the bottom or on the corner on the top on the right or left so choose the position placement uh, for this uh, lesson box I prefer it to be on the bottom okay and on the data labels you can choose whether you want to display the name of the series on the top of each bars or you want to display the name of categories on the top of each bar or the values up to which point the bar reached uh, and so on similarly in case of data tables decide whether you want to attach your data table along with your chart or you don't want the data table to be displayed with the chart so these things you can configure but in our case the question asks us only to uh, fill up these uh, titles here and that's enough so click next this is the last step out of four steps in chart wizard where you will simply decide whether you want the chart to be placed on the same sheet sheet one as an object as an image a picture or you want to display it as a, a separate sheet as a chart sheet if you want to create a new sheet and place it there okay I've, for my case it's okay on the current sheet click it finish let me maximize the excel uh, this is a chart excel created for me i want to place it here and let me increase the size a little bit so that it'll look good okay the crop production on 2005 10 this is a chart title and x-axis title on the vertical axis year and on the uh, y-axis title on the horizontal axis it is production and the uh, legend is displayed at the bottom the chart, the chart bars are drawn uh, correctly after you have created it though the question doesn't ask and you don't need to do it but for your information let me tell you that if you feel that these numbers on the axis are the font size if they are too large you want to uh, decrease them you can just right click on the any of the uh, axis and click on format axis it will open a dialog box to format the axis from the font menu you can choose the size of font let me choose it nine points and click it OK. So this will uh, reduce, this will change the font size of the axis. Similarly, you can do it for this axis also, format axis and font size eight points, click OK. So axis are smaller now. And uh, for this uh, lesson also, you can click right click on the lesson and choose format lesson menu. And here, change the font size, make it nine points, click it OK okay that's all for this question number one now let me turn back to the question 
Uh, ah, well, everything is done for the question number one, isn't it? Now for the question number two, we are asked to calculate commission uh, for following data in sheet two. It has got three marks plus two marks. Okay, uh, serial number, product cost price, selling commission, and commission amount. Commission is seven percent for all selling price minus cost price is more than that means selling price minus cost price is profit if the profit is more than five hundred dollars the commission will be awarded seven percent otherwise it will be four uh, percent for to determine this commission percentage and now for commission amount it will be uh, calculator as commission percentage of cost price so this percent will be applied to the cost price and we will calculate the commission amount let me enter this uh, data into my excel sheet first my excel where is it okay so let me go to the sheet 2 now and here enter the given data the first one serial number production cost price selling price commission percentage commission amount and serial number one I need it two three four one two three continuous so hold control click and drag to bring the two and three correct uh, automatically and here Makita hand drill 3400 20 model number and Philips steam iron PS243 model number and Sony camcord ST331 model number on the column C2 the cost price it is 3123 3000 3, only do not type those dollars and comma otherwise this number will be uh, in text format and you cannot uh, perform calculation remember this may this may give you troubles afterwards only the uh, plain number bare numbers 1200 selling price 4200 385 dollars 100 1800 dollars okay so after you enter these numbers then you can format these numbers with currency formatting and our currency formatting is here so click it Ah, rupees. It's because in my uh, control panel I configured the currency default currency to be rupees. You can change it there from the uh, control panel, or let me look at here if I can if I have the dollar for the currency. So go to the format sales menu and format sales dialog box will come. Uh, and on the number tab you have the category currency, accounting or currency. It's just any of them, no problem. And on the symbol, the currently it is selected RS rupees. So open this list and choose dollar English United States. Decimal places will be two digits. That means there will be two uh, digits after the decimal point. And for negative number, we will display minus and then dollar num amount. In our case, there is there are no negative numbers. It's okay. Click in okay they will be changed into the dollars and point dot dot comma they're automatically placed here so rather than doing uh, formatting these numbers from format cell if you type those dollars and comma when you are entering data and the numbers you enter there will not be number anymore they will be in text and you cannot add subtract multiply divide etc on the text it is not possible therefore enter the number in bare numerical format and afterwards and go to the format menu and make their changes uh, how this makes difference just uh, click on this cell C2 let's see this number dollar three thousand okay on the sheet you see dollar three thousand three dollar three comma zero 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 dot zero zero but look on the formula bar the number you have entered is three thousand bare number so Excel will be using this number to calculate and this number to display so this will be uh, working correctly in our case now go to the commission what the question asks us how to calculate the commission 
Let me see the question. The commission is 7% for all selling price minus cost price is more than 5000. So here I need to decide whether selling price minus cost price is more than 5000 or not. Type here equals to to tell Excel that I'm going to start a formula now. And here because it's a conditional, we need to decide one value out of two values like we have the 7% or 7% or 4% based upon a certain condition so when it is conditional we will use if function equals to if bracket open and our selling price is this d2 minus cost price is c2 if d2 minus c2 is greater is uh, greater than 500 is more than 500 then it will be 7 percent if this one is more than 500 the commission percentage will be seven percentage otherwise it will be four percent close your bracket of if and press it enter in this case it is seven percent so hold shift and press down arrow two times to select those other two cells also below it and you can press ctrl d to fill the cell uh, formula down also alternately you can point to the fill handler and drag them down to fill up the formula for other rows. Oh, well, we have decided whether they will get the 7% or 4% commission. And to calculate commission, now we need to calculate the commission amount. And commission amount is calculated as the commission percentage of cost price. So commission amount will be equals to commission percentage of cost price, C2. So press enter, it is $210, Excel is smart enough to select the correct formatting, number formatting for the, those numbers, it displays dollar $210. So commission amount will be $210 for the first one, Makita, and for Philips it will be $12, and for Sony it will be $84. So that was what the question was asking us uh, to calculate the commission percentage and commission amount finally before you uh, save the file double click on in the, between the uh, title here here between a and b uh, so that it will the column width will be automatically uh, fit okay and on the e also commission percentage is quite large enough well finally select the sheet and apply the border all around and save your file do not forget to save all of your file after you finish working. Ah, sorry. Okay. Uh, to save your file, go to the file menu and save as menu. And on the save as dialog box, choose your folder that you created to store all the answers of the practical exam. My folder is on the desktop and this is my folder on my symbol number double click it to open and if the question asks you to pro, uh, supply a given name then you type that name otherwise you can write here actual answers and click it save the file will be saved as excel answer.xls okay that's all for this 10 marks of ms actual question if you are looking for uh, the solution of other questions from the model sample sets, don't forget to visit icttrends.com. After you read the post and uh, find that it is useful for you to prepare your exam, do not forget to click on this G plus button which will share uh, this post with your friends on Google plus. Clicking on the G plus one button will help me a lot. Uh, thank you for watching this video. We will uh, meet again in another video for another question of the sample set 02.